already. Hey guys, it's Ryan Blue Panda. I did not plan to upload today. Again, this is probably going to be a pretty crappy video. I'm just on my phone and I turned on a screen recorder because the Daily Bugle was revealed. This is absolutely insane. I'm buying this when it comes out. Uh, oh my gosh, this is <laughs> just mind-blowing to get a Marvel set this detailed. Um, like, Because a lot of Marvel sets, they just haven't been very good lately. They've just been like, we'll throw in one kind of rare figure to get adult fans to buy it, or older fans to buy it, and then uh, just put a crappy little build with big pieces and $90 price tag. I'm kind of scrolling through the pictures right now. New J. Jonah Jameson. All the floors are just so good looking. They got Peter Parker's office. News area. More news area, I guess. It looks like all these walls are removable. I kind of watched um, Ash and Flash's review on it for a little bit. Oh my gosh. And there, there's this fire escape going up the right side. I'm pretty sure my dog just did some speed. Um, this is cool. Green Goblin busting out of the top floor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that these must be removable then. Yeah, because it looks like... I wonder if you... You can probably mix match them then. That would be so cool. Anyways, bunch of cool figures. Spider-Man, Doc Ock, Spider-Gwen, many more. The Spider-Man's got arm printing. This Mysterio kind of sucks. I wish it was a Spider-Man Far From Home Mysterio because I like that one so much better. Carnage. Carnage, nothing really new there. Daredevil. Oh my gosh. I have not seen the Daredevil TV show, but I want to now that this exists. And then I want to make stop motions with this. This just, oh my gosh, such a cool figure. A bit comic booky, like in a, in a way a bit cheesy looking, but the printing is so nice. The red just looks so sharp and clean. And oh my goodness, this would be my this will be my first Spider Gwen. Haven't got Spider Gwen before. Kind of, I don't know why this character got so much love in like Spider the Spider Verse. It wasn't that cool of a character to me. Uh, Black Cat, that's kind of cool. That's brand new. I don't think we've got her before. Dual mold, dual molded legs, pretty nice. Then for some reason this guy has his own picture, but the Punisher doesn't. I don't know where to find the Punisher in these set pictures. Otherwise, I would show the Punisher. But my gosh, that oh, that sound. This this set is just incredible. Uh, I believe that's the bottom floor because I did start watching Ashen Flash's review on it. There's so many mini figures. So many new minifigures. And this thing is monstrous. Like, look at that. That is an actual human being right there. And I don't know how tall this hu this human is, but, like, that's huge. That is ginormous. And this can connect to other modulars. Because um, if you zoom in here, um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's Technic hole pins, like, kind of towards the center of the screen with that yellow box and that brown box. And that is just incredible. So... Um, for those of you that have collected modulars, if any of you have, um, they can connect just the facts, J. Jonah Jameson. That is amazing. Facts don't care about your feelings, Ben Shapiro. I wish it said that. That would be so cool. Um, and then there's the TV screen and stuff. That is so cool. Oh, and then there's a little video here. Probably just it spinning around. That is amazing. I cannot gush over the set enough, but I'm going to end this video here. Um, so, yeah. Bye, guys.